everybody, welcome back. If you're following what we're doing in this series, you'll understand what's going on right now. But if you don't, if you're first time here, we're taking Jackson Storm, where is he? The next gen Jackson Storm and turning in the original racers into the next gen bodies. There we have regular Lightning McQueen from Cars 3, I mean Cars 1 and 2. And here he is in Cars 3, a little different body style. See, a little tighter in the front there. But in Cars 4, we're going to use um, Jackson Storm's body. This is called Cars 4 Jacks, uh, Lightning McQueen with the new body style. And we also took Chick Hicks. Chick Hicks was in the video a few weeks ago where he got, he got taken by um, Professor Z. He now owns the Chick Hicks racing team. And they ended up taking uh, Jackson Storm and turned him into next gen. Uh, Chick Hicks and I want to turn um, the king into the next gen the king of course and uh, the new owner which is Tex Dynico has agreed to for the transformation so we've taken another Jackson Storm made a primer gray in another video and today we're going to turn it into number 43 the king so what I'm going to do guys is move the stuff out of the way and get the paint out and put at least two coats of this color blue and turn him into number 43 the king. So let's get our paint out right now. We'll start putting the next, the first coat on. Okay, here we go. We got some paint from the dollar store. It looks the exact same color as the king, so we're gonna take some paint and put it right here. Here we go. That's pretty close to the king. Check it out. Yeah, it's almost identical. So let's get the uh, model we're using, which is Jackson Storm, and put it maybe two coats on. So when we come back, the first coat will be done, okay? And then we'll, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, there's the first coat of blue on the new next gen the king so we'll come back in a few minutes when it's dry put a second coat on just to make sure it's good and dark and then i'll put the numbers 43 on it and see if i can write dynaco in the hood that'll be really hard but i'll give it a try okay we'll be back in a few minutes in the meantime have the other cars and there's sterling from cars three it's one of my favorites here it's all-time favorite thomasville lightning mcqueen he showed up at the very end of cars three beautiful car okay we'll be right back and put the second coat on Okay, I'm back. The paint dried pretty good for the first coat. I'm just going to put a second coat on to deepen it up so it looks really nice and rich when I start putting the stickers on. Well, the number 43. I wish I had stickers. Some people actually print them off the printer and stick them on the cars. I haven't figured out how to do that yet, but I'm working on it. If I keep making Pixar Cars customs, I'll have to learn how because some of those guys make really good customs. I found them on a site on Facebook. There's a club there. People that make Pixar custom cars. They don't make videos though. I was surprised. Um, I know there's a few that make videos, but not, not a lot. So let's come back when this is done and we'll see how it looks. Okay, there's a second coat of blue on Next Gen The King. And I'm gonna come back in a few minutes, put number 43 on the roof, on the doors, and I'll try and rate Dynaco on the back. I'm not sure if I can do that. And I'll put some little headlights on. I can't really tell what kind of headlights they are, but I'll figure it out in a minute. Okay, we'll leave that dry and we'll come back and put the, uh, the numbers on. And maybe I'll try and draw a dinosaur. Okay, we're back. The paint's dry, and now I'm gonna try and paint. Looks like a big dinosaur egg on top of the car in the, in the front there in the hood. So I'm gonna make a big white circle here first, starting at the peak. It's not really a, a circle; it's more like an egg shape. So this might come out look kind of funny first, but when I finish, it should look like an egg, a big round egg. And then I'll put the uh, dinoco across the bottom, and um, and the dinosaur. Draw that somehow in there. How's that looking? Perfect, a little rounder actually, should go a little further. And then I'll um, definitely get this dry again. Ooh, that's a little bigger. Okay, okay and then I'm going to make a little box where Dinoco is going to go in. So I have to spread out here pretty wide. The word Dinoco is going to be in there in small little orange letters. I'll have to fix that up, it doesn't look very good. Okay, we'll figure this out in a second. I'll put some blue on that to patch it up. Okay, it looks like the egg is down. The bottom of the egg is orange, then it's white, and then the dinosaur. Okay, let's leave that dry. I'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, well, that's dry. I'm going to try and write the number 43 on the door on each side, and then on the roof. Pretty good. Now the roof. Now it's going to be tough in here for space. Okay, and now turn on this side, and I'll do 43 on here. And let's see how that looks. So far, so good. Oh, there's a 43 in the back spoiler, too. Okay, let's see if I can get that on there, too. Okay, here goes. This is the next gen spoiler on the King, nice and small, compact. It's actually Jackson Storm, same thing. Good. 
Okay, and we'll come back in a few minutes and that's dry and I'll try and do something with the, the dinosaur. Okay, now I'm going to try and make an outline of purple, I mean orange, all around the inside here to see if I can get that just right. Okay, come back in a few minutes to see how it looks. Well, it's not very symmetrical, that's for sure. But now I'm going to try and write Dynco in there. That's going to be even harder. So let's see if I can uh, hold that nice and steady while I write Dynco. Very tiny letters with this brush I cut most of the bristles off of. There, let's tidy that up a bit. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I got the 43s on the front and I got the egg on the top there. Now I'm going to finish out the sides. Now I'm going to put on the Dynaco dinosaur right there. I got some dark blue paint all set to go. I'm going to give it a shot. I know how the shape of it is. Now let's give it a try. Okay, here it goes. There's a foot here, a foot there, and the tail. The body comes down. Big bubble like the back of the dinosaur. And then the neck goes over here. Came better than I thought. Okay, let's put some lights on first. And I don't know where they go exactly, so I'm gonna make it up. And maybe a little smile. There! I think we're finished. Let's line it up and see how it looks. Okay, we're all set for the unveiling. There's the old king, and here is the next gen king for Cars 4. I can't wait to see that movie. After seeing Cars 3 tonight. What do you think, guys? Did that come out okay? There's number 43. Next gen, number 43. I think I did a good job with the hood. Matches pretty good. So, um, I hope you guys tune in for the next few videos. We're going to have some races with these cars to see which one is the fastest. We're going to have the top four cars of the next gen cars. Actually, he doesn't belong there. He belongs right there. Lightning McQueen, Chick Hicks the King, and Jackson Storm. And maybe even a surprise visit from Cruiser Mirrors. Thanks everyone for watching this series. I'll see you in the next video.